Hey, they're going to put these two head to head. This is the Cold Steel Pendleton Light Hunter and the Mora Companion. Both of these very similar knives for a very similar price. Both of them are good for the starter outdoorsman or perhaps a child's first knife. You know, some get a 12 year old who you're willing to let have a knife. Don't want to spend too much because you probably lose it the first hiking or camping trip he goes on. So you get him one of these. I'm going to look through the, um, the way they deal with wood, food and uh, rope as well as just comment on the sheath and the general build quality. So you stay with me. Alright, in the food test, I'd probably give the slight edge to the cold steel. Uh, it cut the whole apple a lot easier. The more I sort of wedged it and chunked it apart a bit too much, but then back with the fine cutting of the um, thin slices, they did about as well as each other. The more, in fact, was a slight bit easier. But you're not going to do this as much as you're going to do this. So for that, I'd give a slight edge to the cold steel. Sheath, I'm going to give the edge some more. The cold steel sheath, a little bit cheaper feeling. Um, is very much just a material sheath, thick fabric, but still, and uh, it doesn't have the um, the optional belt clip, which is what Mora has, so you can sort of wear it on or off the belt um, without having to take your whole belt off. But both very simple, very cheap sheaths. Um, they both hold the knives, but the um, retention and the um, and the way of applying the sheath is better on the Mora. So edge goes to the Mora knife.
This is an after usage, so the steel is still holding up despite being a fairly budget steel. Cutting rope, it's paracord, probably the rope I'll cut the most with a small knife. Very, very well. Very, very well handled by the, the hollow grind and the blade steel. Mora. This is more I've had for years, sharpen it from time to time. Get a little bit dull at the front there perhaps. Hmm. That's probably just showing signs of age. Cutting, cutting tasks still does just fine. The edge on the cutting tasks I'd probably give to the cold steel. Uh, that grind, the hollow grind, makes for just a sharper, immediate cutting edge. Blades and blade shapes, well, very much um, use specific. What's starting to come apparent is that cold steel, uh, Ultimate Hunter, is probably better for food and uh, fine, um, fine cutting tasks, whereas the Mora is much more of a wood knife. These are facts that probably everyone would know, but this is just for people who are looking at the difference between the two of them. Uh, so we'll look at what we can judge. So the Pendleton has somewhat of an upswept tip, which has a lot of nice belly for doing those slicing tasks with. The Mora has more of a straight edge, and then the belly just being here. Mora has the finer tip, Pendleton Light is a little bit more of a dropped tip. Uh, the Mora has a Scandinavian grind, which is very good for wood processing. The um, cold steel has the 4116 in uh, steel in hollow grind, so much better um, perhaps food or just general rope work and paper cutting, cardboard cutting grind. The steels, well, I'd have to give the edge to the shed door there. I'd have to give the Mora. Um, Morris steel, the 12C27 uh, Swedish steel. Um, I know it didn't look as sharp on the um, on the rope there just before, but uh, certainly very easy to get sharp. And uh, as is the 4116, but it stays sharp that little bit longer, even with such a delicate grind as a Scandinavian uh, absolute zero Scandi grind, which is what's on this knife. 4116 steel to me has properties very similar to uh, Victorinox's uh, Swiss Army knife steel, which I think is a very similar recipe. Still a good steel. Handles. The more comfortable handle is the Mora. Probably the more useful handle may well be the cold steel. The cold steel's handle has a bit more safety incorporated into it and it has a couple of extra features. So it's got this finger choil here which is quite pronounced for any sort of over stab or stab protection. And on either side for its hunting application it's got these two finger grooves here so you can Place your index finger across and slice across easily with a nice pinch sideways grip. This is just a solid piece of um, that gravery type uh, handle plastic that Cold Steel uses on the cheaper knives. The Mora's is plastic as well, so you've got this green plastic and then you've got this rubber over mold. Very, very comfortable, comfortable to grip, but again, probably not as versatile as the Pendleton. Pendleton also has a lanyard hole, which the Mora does not, so the handle gets a slight edge for the Pendleton. So which of these knives is better? These are both really good knives that you could, if you can't find one, get the other is what I would say. If you can pick both, then I guess you just choose general use, wood use, and that's what you're after. This will do wood use fine, and this will do general use fine. This will excel at general use, this will excel at wood use. So those are your two options there. Everything else about these knives is what you'd expect from a good quality budget knife. So you could spend $60 on a giant Winchester Bowie, that isn't going to do you very good at all. The edge won't be sharp, it'll be 440A steel, it'll be junk. Um, it's going to look cooler, perhaps, if that's your thing, but these are about half the price of that. You're paying about $25 and about $30 for these knives, and um, they'll each properly excel at tasks. They've each been purposefully designed for things, and um, certainly um, very much worth, I would say try both, but very much worth sort of choose your task, choose the knife because they're both about as good as each other. Each had as many wins as the other did losses and each had as many losses as the other did wins. So there you go, Mora Cold Steel. Thanks for watching.